Now, a lot of people look at rugby and they see a football game without pads and some really short shorts. But for the guys at the Jackson Rugby Football Club, this international sport has become an obsession. The Jackson Rugby Football Club has been playing for more than 40 years. But player coach James Lawson says he hadn't heard of the sport until college. I was walking around campus and the guy, you know, saw it was kind of athletic and uh, actually wanted to play rugby. Didn't have a clue what it was, so I just went through practice and fell in love with it. The club is part of a league that spans four states. Match coordinator Brian Schaefer says that means organizing 60 guys for a Saturday game. Sometimes you got to get up at 5 a.m. and y'all pile in the big caravan and drive up, you know, five hours away, hop out of the truck and play. Teammate Sims Hazel says Jackson Rugby is in his bluff. My dad actually played for Jackson Rugby back when he was in school at Millsaps. My uncle coached the Denver Barbarians, and they won a Super League title. So kind of just ran through the family. That history is evident in the field, bought and paid for by former players. It's all the lights, got power out here, built a pavilion, you know, keep the field cut mode, road coming in, and warden lights turned on. What started as a group of guys looking for contact turned into a kind of fraternity. I moved here and immediately had 30 friends. All these guys are like family to me, and I go out of town, calling buddies up, hey, can you dog sit for me? No problem, they're like family. The biggest thing, though, it's fun. For the most part, most guys out there play that first game or hook. Rugby is about to start their seven-on-seven -seven season, and if you want to catch a game, their field is off Highway 49 on Forest Avenue Extended.